welcome you all in my youtube channel this is the third video of the series sc 900 exam moving towards questions question is select the answer that correctly appears this sentence and options are azure application inside second azure network watcher third log analytics workspaces and fourth the security baseline for azure which of these provide the benchmark recommendation and guidance for protecting azure services and the correct option is security baseline for azure moving towards next question what is an example of encryption at rest options are a encrypting communication by using a side to side vpn b encrypting a virtual machine disk c accessing a website by using an encrypted https connection d sending an encrypted email and the solution is b encrypting a virtual machine disk next question which three statement accurately describe the guiding principle of zero trust each correct answer present a complete solution options are define the perimeter by physical location b use identity as primary security boundary c always verify the permissions of a user explicitly d always assume that user system can be breached e use the network as the primary security boundary and correct three options are option b option c and option d option b is use identity as primary security boundary option c always verify the permission of a user explicitly option c always assume that user system can be breached so these are the three guiding principles of zero trust next question which service should you use to view your azure secure score and these are the solutions and the correct option is security center next question what can you use to provide a user with two hour window to complete an administrative task in azure a azure active directory privilege identity management b azure mfa c azure active directory identity protection d conditional access policy and correct option is conditional access policy question is in a hybrid identity model what can you use to sync identities between active directory domain services and azure active directory options are option a active directory federation services b azure sentinel c azure ad connect or d azure ad privilege identity manager and correct option is option c azure ad connect next question for each of the following statement select yes if the statement is true otherwise select no the statements are a you can create custom role in azure ad b global administrator is a role in azure ad c azure ad user can be assigned only one role and the solutions for these statements are you can create custom role in azure ad this statement is true global administrator is a role in azure ad this statement is also true and azure ad can be accessed only one row this statement is no and the reason for first statement to be true is azure ad support custom roles and second statement is global administrator has access to all administrative feature in azure ad next question for each of the following statement select yes if the statement is true otherwise select no the statements are Azure AD is deployed to an on-premises environment. B, 
Azure AD is provided as part of a Microsoft 365 subscription. C. Azure AD is an identity and access management service. And these are the solutions. Azure AD is deployed to an on premises environment. This statement is known. Azure AD is provided as part of a Microsoft 365 subscription. This statement is yes. Azure AD is an identity and access management. This statement is also yes. The reason for that Azure Active Directory is cloud-based user identity and authentication service. For second, Microsoft 365 uses Azure Active Directory. Azure Active Directory is included with your Microsoft 365 subscription. And third, type to Azure Active Directory is cloud-based user identity and authentication service. Next question. Select the answer that correctly completes the center. With window, hello for business, a user's biometrics data is used for authentication. Is stored on an external device? Is stored on a local device only? Is stored in Azure AD? Is replicated to all the devices designated by the user? And the correct answer would be, is stored on a local device only? because biometric templates are stored locally on a device. Next question, what is the purpose of Azure AD password protection? A, to control how often user must change their password. B, to identify devices to which user can sign in without using MFA. C, to encrypt a password by using globally recognized encryption standards. D, to prevent a user from using specific words in their password. And the correct option is option D, to prevent a user from using specific words in their password. And hint is, Azure AD password protection returns and block known weak password and their variant. And then also block additional weak terms that are specific to your organization. With Azure AD password protection default global band password list are automatically applied to all the users in Azure AD Tenet. To support your own business and security needs, you can define entry in a custom band password list.